The following paid commercial presentation for the Hamilton Beach Power Mixer is brought to you by Quantum Marketing International. It can chop, crush, grate, grind, mince, liquefy, mix, or puree just about any fruit, vegetable, or meat you can put in it. It can beat, blend, stir, frappe, or whip just about any liquid. This kitchen marvel is known as the Hamilton Beach Power Mixer. Two important features make this machine a household genie. First, it's powered by a mighty 840-watt commercial-grade motor. Stacked against not one, but three household blenders, the power mixer outweighs them all. Second, the motor powers a special four-blade assembly. This sophisticated design gives you a combined motion of over 70,000 blade actions per minute. That's what makes the power mixer the machine of choice at restaurants, bars, and hospitals across the United States. If you've ever tasted a delicious fruit drink from an Orange Julius, you've had a drink made with this amazing appliance. Up to now, it's only been available to businesses through special restaurant industry catalogs. But that's about to change. Now, the Hamilton Beach Power Mixer is available to you. Hi, my name's Larry Martoni, and I'm here today to introduce you to one of the most amazing, exciting new kitchen appliances to come on the market in years. It's from Hamilton Beach, one of the oldest, most respected small appliance manufacturers in the nation. It's called the Power Mixer. Now, it's not just a blender, and please don't confuse it with one. It's a commercial liquefier, blender, mixer, chopper, dry grinder, and ice crusher. Does it all in the one machine without any separate attachments, and it's made in the good old USA. But I'm going to show you how to do a little dry grinding first, and anything like this is simple in the machine here. Anything that's dry that has no moisture in it, like that hard whole kernel corn, will circulate freely on its own. You don't require a liquid. There are some things you need a liquid with. I'll explain them as we go along. Now anything like this is simple in the machine here. You want to make breadcrumbs. You only have fresh bread, fold it in your hand. If it's stale bread, break it in half. Put it in the machine, turn it on, turn it off. Why, that's all there is to it. See, you make breadcrumbs out of fresh bread just that fast. Now, all of our machines come apart for easy cleaning. Why, if you buy any machine you can't take apart to clean, you make salad dressing, baby food, peanut butter, make your spreads or dips, we'll let you figure out how on earth you ever get the mess out of those blades. The same blades that come off of the stainless steel container or that new space age unbreakable polycarbonate container will also go right on our standard storage containers. We refer to these as the Blender Plus containers. We have them in all sizes from the 12 ounce right up to the giant quart and a half. See, this way, if you want to make peanut butter, salad dressing, baby food, make your spreads or dips, you can do it all right in the jar you want to store it in to start with. When you're through, take the blades out, put a lid on, and set it up for storage. Now, that's a hard winter wheat that I just put in there, one of the hardest things you'll find to grind. Leave it in there just about a minute, you're going to have a fresh whole wheat flour. In about 10 or 15 seconds, it's already cracked for a cereal. You can grind any grain or bean. Grind corn for cornmeal, rice for rice flour, soybeans for soy flour. If you run out of powdered sugar, put in regular sugar, grind it down to powdered sugar in a few seconds' time. But that's been in there for less than a minute. Let's see what we have here now. But remember, that was your hard winter wheat. One of the hardest things you'll find to grind, why, that's a fresh whole wheat flour there already. See, you mix that up in one of your larger containers. Better yet, just grind it right in the larger container to start with. I'm just showing you how it fits the storage containers. But you mix up your batter, you make fresh whole wheat pancakes, whole wheat muffins, fresh buckwheat cakes. We're going to make a recipe here in a little minute. We're going to have all have some samples. It's my blueberry orange corn muffin recipe. 
So let's make those blueberry orange corn muffins now. I'm gonna make that in the unbreakable polycarbonate container here so you can see, but these are absolutely delicious. When I make the corn muffins, I start with about two thirds to a cup of milk. Let's get a couple eggs here. I use about a third of a cup of shortening. I'm gonna put a slice of whole orange in. Incidentally, I leave the peel and all on. We're gonna get about a quarter of a cup of brown sugar there to sweeten it, just a little bit of baking soda. And I'm gonna turn this on for just a second here. We're gonna liquefy that part of it, then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Just about four or five seconds, just till we liquefy that down. Now I'm gonna add the cornmeal and we ground that right in the power mixer here just a little bit earlier. About a cup of cornmeal. I'm gonna get about half a cup of wheat flour we ground. Let's add the blueberries to that, and I use anywhere from six to eight ounces of blueberries. We're gonna use the high speed on this. And just as soon as we see those top blueberries, I'll pulse that once or twice. As soon as they process through the blades, that's all there is to it. It's just that cut and dried and simple. Pour them right into your muffin tin. Takes about 15 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Absolutely delicious. I'll guarantee you, you'll never buy a store-bought muffin again. Let me just set this aside. I'm gonna show you real quick how to use the commercial power mixer as an ice crusher, how to chop your salads and vegetables. We do make separate attachments that go on all of the regular home units and virtually every manufacturer does if you wanna shave or crush ice. Your ice crusher attachments will sell anywhere from 15 to 50 or $60. Uh, this commercial model power mixer with the heavy motor, with the unbreakable polycarbonate or stainless steel container does not require a separate ice crusher attachment. The commercial model will crush ice without an attachment. In fact, it'll crush it even faster than a commercial ice crusher. So I put in enough liquid just to bob it off the blades. See, now the water creates a whirlpool, draws those solid ice cubes down the center. As they go down the center, they force the shaved ice up the sides. A full 840 watt motor in the commercial model two to three times the power of your ordinary blenders or liquefiers, here's where it makes a toy out of them. High speed to crush ice, you'll hear it when it's through, it only takes three or four seconds. You can hear that spinning freely there now. Believe it or not, in about three or four seconds, that whole container of ice is all completely shaved already. But that's a machine, not a toy. You want to make snow cones or Italian ices for the youngsters. Put a little fruit syrup on it. See, you make snow cones for the older youngsters. Why, instead of the fruit syrup, put a little rum in. You know, that's about the biggest frozen daiquiri you've ever seen. Let's try a little lime on the other side there. But if you want to chop your salads or vegetables, see again, if you want to chop cabbage for coleslaw, we always use enough liquid to circulate it freely. The amount of water really isn't all that critical. Fill it right to the top with water if you want. Incidentally, when I say water, I'm really referring to any liquid. The machine doesn't know the difference. A lot of the women will use their dressing instead. Use oil and vinegar if you want. Why that way, in just a couple seconds time, your salad's all chopped and dressed, ready to serve. Drain the excess right back off into the jar use it over and over again. So I'm gonna get a little red cabbage here. Let me get a little bit of carrot to color it. Now if you use the higher speeds on the machine, you're gonna have a finer grind. You want a coarser grind, use the slower speeds, but whatever you do, don't turn the machine on. Go in the living room and watch TV for a minute or two and come back or go answer the doorbell because I'll guarantee you, you won't have coleslaw, but you will 
will have cabbage juice in just a couple seconds time. All I'm going to do is turn the machine on and off three or four times just till you see the top vegetables pass through the blade. Once, twice, three times, and that's all there is to it. Why we drain that off now through a colander or a strainer, just that fast, the cabbage is all chopped and diced, ready to serve. As I said, if you want a coarser grind, use a slower speed. Why a higher speed, that'll be finer still. If you left it on the high speed a few seconds, you would actually end up drinking it. I'm actually going to show you how to make a sorbet. If you don't know what sorbets are, that's made out of frozen fruit too. I think it's a fancy French name they put on it. Show you how to charge four to five times what they do for sherbet. Now when I make my sorbets, I put in just a little bit of lemon juice, about two tablespoons. Then I just add enough milk just to cover the second blade. See what we have here, that ought to be just about enough there. Let me get just a little bit more lemon juice. For a sorbet, all we're going to do is put in frozen fruit, and I'm going to use the frozen peaches today. Now actually, if they're sweetened peaches, don't add any sweetener. That should be just about enough there. Let's see if we can find a spatula here. Turn the machine on. Now what you're going to have to do is just periodically lift those off the blaze. It's going to take about 15 to 20 seconds. Again, those could be raspberries. When they are in season, I highly recommend that you get fresh peaches. Freeze them yourself. They're truly delicious. That's all there is to it. Said that could be any frozen fruit you want, absolutely delicious. Just set these aside here a second. I'm going to make a little drink out of all fresh fruits and vegetables. Believe it or not, when I'm through, it's going to look and taste just like a strawberry milkshake. I don't use any milk. I don't use any strawberries. But when we liquefy anything, Unlike the dry grinding, we always start with a liquid base. Start with a little water. Use milk or fruit juice if you want. I start my drink here with about a cup and a half or two cups of pineapple juice. I use it for one simple reason. It just makes the drink taste a little better. First thing we're at is a little raw cabbage. And if you don't like cabbage, don't worry about it. When I'm through, it'll all be completely liquefied. You'll never know it's in there. You don't have to dice things up in tiny little pieces in the commercial model power mixer. Drop the whole thing in. Purees, baby foods, applesauce. When I make applesauce, I leave the peel, the seeds, and all on. Limeades, lemonades, again, the peel, the seeds, and all. And you know, the peels of all your citrus fruits, one of the highest sources of vitamin C. The seeds are very high in vitamin E. We throw that all away, though. Every time the youngsters have a cold, you march right down to the drugstore, 10 or $15, you buy it all right back in a bottle. I only use one fruit here in my demonstration. I really don't recommend using the peel of, and that is the banana. Now, it really wouldn't hurt anybody. They're just awful oily, they're bitter, they taste terrible. You'd end up with a layer of banana oil on top of the drink when you got through if you did use it. I said we were going to make a strawberry milkshake. I use a little raw beet. It gives it that strawberry coloring. Incidentally, you know, the raw beet is the highest source of iron of any vegetable in the garden. Just like any other vegetable, though, boil it, you kill 60 to 90 percent of the vitamins and minerals. You drain it all right down the sink with the water. I'm going to add one last ingredient here to complete my drink, usually where I lose all my skeptics. But the last thing I do add is one raw egg. 
I put the shell and all in. Invariably, the biggest skeptics when I put that in, 90% of the time, it's always the women, the ones that have taken eggshell a good part of their lives. You know, the first time you were pregnant, the first thing the doctor told you to do was take calcium pills. Again, you march down to the drugstore. Another 10 or $15, you buy it all right back in a bottle. If you ever read the label, they're usually eggshells or oyster shells, ground down and compressed into a little capsule. High speed to liquefy, you're gonna hear that ice go down through the blades. Now that'll be gone in just a couple seconds, you won't hear the ice again. We're gonna do a better job of liquefying now. In just a minute or so in the commercial model power mixer, then your ordinary liquefiers and blenders will run 30 or 40 minutes to do. 90% of them can't even do it at all, and we do it for one simple reason, strictly because we have the power to do it with. Let's just see what we have here now, though. That's only been in there probably less than half a minute. But for those of you that weren't here at the beginning, I started with about a cup and a half of pineapple juice as a base. We added all raw and unpeeled except for the banana. Cabbage, carrots, celery, apples, lemons, beets, bananas. Why, we had the peeling, skin, seeds, ice, the whole works. Everything but the banana peel. Oh, and that one raw egg, shell and all. See, all you have left are the four lifetime stainless steel blades that did all the work. You know, the blades on the commercial model really aren't even sharp. They're just a beveled blade. Just the speed and the power that does all the cutting so you never have to worry about sharpening them. We're gonna tell you how you can actually get the commercial model power mixer, the identical one you saw me demonstrate here, at a substantial savings over your regular commercial prices. You too can get the machine that can make ice cubes into shaved ice in three seconds. Transform hard peanuts into the creamiest peanut butter you ever had in just over a minute. Puree celery stalks into cream of celery soup in 20 seconds. And open a whole new world that you never knew existed in your own kitchen. Now it's finally available to you. The Hamilton Beach Power Mixer. Look at some of the foods you can make with this incredible machine. In many cases, in seconds. Cabbage into homemade coleslaw. Eggs into mayonnaise. Make it regular or locale. Hard whole kernel corn into cornmeal. Frozen fruit into cool, smooth sorbet. Apples into applesauce. Hard cheese into grated cheese. And grind your favorite coffee beans into fresh coffee every morning. The Hamilton Beach Power Mixer does all this in seconds, thanks to two innovations. First, it's powered by a large 840-watt commercial-grade motor. Stacked against not one, but three household blenders, the power mixer outweighs them all. Second, the motor powers a special four-blade assembly. This sophisticated design gives you a combined action of over 70,000 blade actions per minute. That's how you can take bananas and milk and make one of the creamiest natural healthy milkshakes there is in seconds. Tired of grating potatoes by hand? Now you can make fresh potato pancake batter in 30 seconds. With one machine, you can chop, crush, grate, grind, mince, liquefy, mix, puree, beat, blend, stir, frappe, and whip. It's more than a juicer and better than a blender. That's why you won't need over $600 of separate kitchen appliances. It's a known fact that whole fruits and vegetables are healthier for you than just the juice. Now you can liquefy the entire fruit or vegetable to make the most nutritious, tastiest, freshest drinks you've ever had in just seconds. Everyone in your family will benefit. You can make your own baby food with ingredients you control. And because it comes apart so easily for thorough cleaning, it carries a National Sanitary Foundation approval, as well as approval from Underwriters Laboratories. Look at what you get in the Power Mixer Package. The mighty 840-watt base unit with a high-quality one-piece commercial stainless steel container. A large 44-ounce polycarbonate container with a second-blade assembly and collar. 
Three Blender Plus storage containers, 12 ounces, 16 ounces, and 48 ounces that easily attach to the blade assembly. Now you can mix and store in the same container. Blending Magic by world-famous nutritionist Bernard Jensen. This book contains 650 prize-winning mixer recipes which taste great for nutrition-minded people. Plus, you get this American-made product with the full two-year parts and labor warranty. The total power mixer package adds up to an over $260 value. It's been advertised on TV for $189.95. Now it's yours for only $149.95. Just call the toll-free number on your screen to order your own Hamilton Beach power mixer. If you prefer to order by mail, just send a check or money order for the full amount plus shipping and handling and any applicable tax to the address on the screen. Remember, this is the same appliance used by restaurants, bars, and hospitals. Up to now, it was only available to them. Now, through this special television offer, you too can own and use it every day. Be sure to call today to order one of the greatest all-purpose machines ever invented for this special discount price. You know, a couple years ago, I ended up with more food in my garden than I knew what to do with. I came across an excellent recipe for gazpacho soup. Just like any other recipe I find, I usually add to it, but gazpacho soup on a nice warm summer day is probably one of the most refreshing types of soup you can have. It's a cold soup and it's really simple to make. Make it in just a few seconds. When I make the gazpacho soup, I usually start with about two cups of tomato juice, a few fresh tomatoes. You can really add just about any fresh vegetable you want. I'm going to get a little bit of onion here. Let me see if I can find a little bit of green onion too. Going to add a little salt. Let me get a little bit of salt and pepper here. Some more onion leaves. One of the things I really like to put in is some fresh cucumber and all it takes is about three or four seconds once you get the ingredients in. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil and vinegar too and all we're gonna do is just process that through the blades. You really don't wanna liquefy it. All we're gonna do is just chunk it. So just till you see the top vegetables process through the blade. Once, twice, three times, that's all there is to it. Two or three seconds time, just that fast, you make gazpacho soup for three or four people. I'll show you how to make fresh baby foods, all natural, just as quick as that. I'm gonna use one of the storage containers this time, and remember, the same blades that come off of either the polycarbonate or the stainless steel container go right on our handy Blender Plus containers. We have those all the way up to the quart and a half size. So when I make baby food, you can start with any liquid, really doesn't matter. I'm gonna put a little apple juice to start and it's a excellent way to feed baby exactly what we're feeding. If you wanna put a little meat, poultry, mix it with some vegetables. I'm gonna get a little bit of cooked carrots here. It could be any meat or vegetable and just depending on how fine you want it is how long you run it. We're gonna put the blades, the collar on, and again, we can do that right in the jar we wanna store it in to start with. Turn the machine on, about three or four seconds, just that quick, you have fresh baby food in about four or five seconds. No artificial preservatives, no additives. Now you can either put the lid on, set it in the fridge for storage, or what I like to do a lot of times, Take the leftovers after I've made the baby food, put it in an ice cube tray, freeze it in the fridge. It's handy anytime you want to use it. I'll just get a couple of these things off the counter and I think I'll use another one of the Blender Plus containers here. If you remember earlier when I ground the wheat down to a whole wheat flour, we showed you how to grind the corn for cornmeal. But the one thing I recommend you're gonna grind your own fresh coffee. Grind just as much as you need because you'll find fresh coffee within 15 to 30 minutes after it's ground loses about 15 to 20 percent of its flavor. Find another collar here. And again, we recommend about 15 seconds for the percolator 
If you want us for the fancy new automatic drip coffee makers, run at approximately 30 seconds. So you could grind any grain or bean, corn for cornmeal, rice for rice flour. If you run out of powdered sugar, put in regular sugar. You grind it down to powdered sugar in a few seconds time. But that's been in there probably about 15 or 20 seconds now. You have fresh ground coffee just that fast. It truly is, if you ever smell that, you'll never go back to store-bought coffee again. Now you've seen what the Hamilton Beach commercial power mixer can do. You know you can't buy the commercial models in your regular retail stores, so stay tuned. This is the first time on television we're going to tell you how you can actually get this model at a substantial savings over the regular commercial prices. It's probably the greatest all-purpose machine ever invented. Now it's finally available to you, the Hamilton Beach power mixer. Look at some of the foods you can make with this incredible machine. In many cases, in seconds. Cabbage into homemade coleslaw. Eggs into mayonnaise. Make it regular or locale. Hard whole kernel corn into cornmeal. Frozen fruit into cool, smooth sorbet. Hard cheese into grated cheese. And grind your favorite coffee beans into fresh coffee every morning. The Hamilton Beach Power Mixer does all this in seconds, thanks to two innovations. First, it's powered by a large 840-watt commercial-grade motor. Stacked against not one, but three household blenders, the power mixer outweighs them all. Second, the motor powers a special four-blade assembly. This sophisticated design gives you a combined action of over 70,000 blade actions per minute. That's how you can take bananas and milk and make one of the creamiest, natural, healthy milkshakes there is in seconds. Tired of grating potatoes by hand? Now you can make fresh potato pancake batter in 30 seconds. With one machine, you can chop, crush, grate, grind, mince, liquefy, mix, puree, beat, blend, stir, frappe, and whip. That's why you won't need over $600 of separate kitchen appliances. Look at what you get in the Power Mixer Package. The mighty 840-watt base unit with a high-quality one-piece commercial stainless steel container. A large 44-ounce polycarbonate container with a second blade assembly and collar. Three Blender Plus storage containers, 12 ounces, 16 ounces, and 48 ounces that easily attach to the blade assembly. Now you can mix and store in the same containers. Blending Magic by world-famous nutritionist Bernard Jensen. This book contains 650 prize-winning mixer recipes which taste great for nutrition-minded people. Plus, you get this American-made product with the full two-year parts and labor warranty. The total power mixer package adds up to an over $260 value. It's been advertised on TV for $189.95. Now it's yours for only $149.95. Just call the toll-free number on your screen to order your own Hamilton Beach power mixer. If you prefer to order by mail, just send a check or money order for the full amount plus shipping and handling and any applicable tax to the address on the screen. Remember, this is the same appliance used by restaurants, bars, and hospitals. Up to now, it was only available to them. Now, through this special television offer, you too can own and use it every day. Be sure to call today to order one of the greatest all-purpose machines ever invented for this special discount price. The preceding paid commercial presentation for the Hamilton Beach Power Mixer was brought to you by Quantum Marketing International.